Hey, I've got a question for you today. What does Jesus want you to do today as a Christian? He tells us in John 17, in fact, he has a top priority for us. And it's not just something he wants us to do. It's something he wants us to experience. And it actually comes from the very nature of God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. These three who are one. And they have existed three in one from eternity past and will for eternity future. And they have this beautiful relationship with each other. Jesus wants you and me to experience a little bit of heaven on earth by being in Christian relationship with brothers and sisters in a way that is so loving and patient and self-sacrificing that our relationship, the way we serve each other, the way we are served, is just this supernatural expression of the very nature of God. And here's how Jesus puts it, and he's gonna say this is specifically for you. It's in John 17, verse 20, as Jesus is praying to the Father, Jesus prayed this for you and me, starting in verse 20. I am praying not only for these disciples, Peter, James, John, etc., but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message, all who will ever believe in Jesus. Does that include you and me? Absolutely. Verse 21, I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I, Father, are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. How will we convince the world that Jesus is truly God? Jesus says, It's by our love one for another. He says it here in John 17. said the same thing in John 13, 35, and 36. This is how all people will know you're my disciples, by your love one for another. He continues, verse 22. I have given my followers the glory you gave me so that they may be one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Father, I want these who you have given to me to be with me where I am. Then they can see all the glory you have given me because you loved me even before the world began. Unity. Christian unity is at the heart of what Jesus wants for us, and that's why Satan, who came into this world to kill, steal, and destroy, Satan loves to divide churches. He loves to divide believers away from each other. Um, It's like coals in a fireplace. If you keep separating them out, they will go out, the fire will go out, but if you push all the coals, all the embers near each other, the fire gets bigger. Satan wants to separate you from other believers. Satan wants to divide churches. Our country's full of churches that were once big, but people got in a fight and they split. And then there's a spirit of divisiveness, so each half splits. And instead of us multiplying, we keep dividing. We will multiply. God will bring people to us and he'll baptize new believers when we love one another and when we say the unity of the body of Christ matters more than my feelings, more than my ego, more than my opinions. The church might be doing it different than I would do it, but they're teaching the word of God. They're keeping it all about Jesus. I'm gonna be unified as long as it's biblical and all about Jesus. Let's be people of unity. Let's love each other deeply. Love the Christians you know as this passage describes. I'll see you tomorrow.